What's going on people? Just got done with maintenance on all the the tanks. Um wanna show off what's what I pretty much did. Didn't do too much. In this tank. Trimmed some of the more front um Rotella Indica. Trimmed a few in the back. Um also trimmed this Glosso. Thought it might um you know make it inhibit or whatever you want to say some horizontal growth uh, I left this big piece just in case it didn't like if it died or whatever I've still got some in here um, then I over here I tried to pull up a bunch of the dwarf sedge not really liking it in here so I might just get away from it all Flowers still uh, still open, still uh, crawling away, but that's pretty much the 30. Everything's purling right now after doing the water change, but that's 30. I'll show you what else I got. Okay, people, here's the 225 after the water change. So what I did in here is on all the plants that was tied to the uh, picture of my rope usually he's not out like that and bamboo shrimps right there on the driftwood too but anyways what I did on the uh, the driftwood everywhere I had originally tied on plants to the driftwood I cut off the string so the only sh uh, fishing string I have on there now is still holding the weights on I'm not sure that they can come off yet um, I just I would prefer to leave it on there instead of cut it off too early I cut a few of the stems of the Rotella Indica and then planted them back there um, behind the sword then I also put the other three Peacock Grungeons in here and I also put the Panda Quarries in here so, got those in here. Uh, the Brazilian pennywort, I'm still trying to get it to root in to the soil. So, I put some more of it in here. And then, that's pretty much it. With all the rainbows hanging out together. Um, the flower in here opened up pretty nice one thing I um, did also is I adjust the lights to uh, allow the blue lights to come on first then the bright whites about 10-15 minutes later to stop the the big flash of the bright lights coming on the the whites are definitely the the brightest white I have coming on so I wanted to reduce that effect by having something else come on but that's what I've got all the peacock grungeons seem like they're doing pretty good in this tank which is uh makes me very happy and my plan is to get five more of those fork tails. They they school so well, which is amazing. But that's what I got, people. So how about the ten, the quarantine tank? I got two more um, dwarf or sorry, rope fish, reed fish, whatever you want to call them. I'm hoping that one in the back there isn't going to die. He's just not acting right. It's kind of doing a twirling motion. So that kind of sucks, but I've already uh already called my uh, supplier and uh he's probably going to give me credit for it. So you know, got them new water and got them in there. So that's the 10.